Hello everyone and welcome back to Saga 3 where we've reached Viper City. The last area, the only one we haven't explored. Still looking for that resistance. Now I just realized the purpose of this is probably so you don't have to go around the city endlessly in order to leave. What do you want? If you wish to pass, say the code word. Uh, clearly it's Sphinx. Oh my god. That's amazing. Only because my friend Sphinx plays the character Thelonious on Noobs and Dragons. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Don't worry, we're under the protection of Melrose and Freya from Darm here. Yeah, I was looking for her and I did not see her. I swear that you see her in the future. Dr. Pulsar is the world's foremost Stethelos researcher. He lives in the shelter at the bottom of the sea. I'd like to go see him, I think. Oh, hello. Are you hurt? With my mastery of the scalpel, I can heal any wound. And nothing over here. All right. Hello. I've been waiting, sir. Who are you? Maybe you'll remember if I say it this way. Welcome back, big guy. Dior? Is that really you? It's me. I'm the commander of the resistance now. Wow, you've really done well. So what's happening right now? Here's what's been going on. Saul was kidnapped. Wow, Sol's a god, right? It's hard to believe, but yes, that's what happened. Sir so enemies must be very strong indeed. So what happens now? We're not sure. Not sure. We put an advanced party on the Stethelos Mark II that Cronus and Dr. Pulsar built and sent them to rescue Nemesis and Sol from the other world. After they left, however, we lost all communication with them. And we've got to go save Nemesis and the others right away. Agreed. Dior, do you have another dimensional device to upgrade our Stethelos? Our Stethelos could cross dimensions as well, then. Sorry, but Matreya from Floatland stole the last dimension warp. Maybe we can get it back if we go to Floatland and defeat her. That settles it. We'll head for Floatland at once. I was thinking exactly the same thing. We'll need Dr. Pulsar's help to get to Floatland. We should go together to his shelter to the north. Okay, let's do it. By the way, I found a different Stethelos component. Doesn't seem very important, but I'd like you to have it if that's alright. Capsule Hotel? Oh, I think I can use it to heal. Wow! He has so much health. We fight as one. So hopefully this leads me out of the city. Cool. All right. Clearly deep sea trench, because I think we need to kill something. I'm starting to think nothing is going to tell me to uh, explore that ship, so I kind of would like to just do it. Oh, do I have a component? That shows me the treasure chests? I didn't even think about that. Armed Cosmos. Let's try... I'm gonna try lightning and fire. Well, no, actually I'm gonna try uh, bravery on Hannibal. Forty-one, thirty-six. Let's do it. I think... I really hope I'm able to find time to do some grinding between some of these episodes, because I feel like we're starting to fall behind, particularly in areas like... Agility? Monster defeated. That was 
Not nearly as bad as the tower. Ooh, diamond mail? Is that better than what we've got? Weird. Sixteen, and that's thirteen? All right, slightly better than what we have. Look at how far the enemies come for me. I wonder if that's just because of my strength level. Never did find out what they were weak against. Guess I'm not gonna like overdo it. Ooh, what can I, what can I get? Fire resistant, poison immunity, or wind vulnerability. Oh, that's tough. Let's do it. Nothing happened. Ah, that stinks. All right, things we fought before. I think fire, fire was the way to go. It's so hard to keep track of these weaknesses. I like that Hannibal is a lot quicker with the katana. Water? What can we get? Earth vulnerable or KO? Well, I can't get any worse than I already am. I think I'm gonna have to flush out some of those weaknesses, even though I get rid of the strengths along with it. I think I'd rather just damage be even across everything than have to deal with uh, taking more damage in some situations. Especially like if I get to, because think about it, if I get to a boss and there's like no way to go back to the, the ship and get rid of it, then I'm just Boned. Let's heal Hannibal. I'm going to bet that you have, yep. Magic is garbage, but it's fine. I almost snuck up on it. Landworms? Okay. For, oh, first strike. Definitely not gonna go all out. Fire. Just raise. And recover 25% HP. So I'm assuming that amount is going to go up the more I use it. That is a really handy spell to have. And just triple lunge. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, that's why I haven't meant to do that. Just attack. Ooh, strong to thunder. That was awesome. Wind resistor. All right, here we go. We're going to try again. Ah, oh no. Uh, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to clear, clear everyone. Oh, magic source. I feel like it's in my best interest to save these sources for the end of the game. Like, I hate 
hoarding items, but I think that's a smart play. Because it's only going to get more difficult to raise stats. So if I hold on to that till like the end of the game, like right before the final boss, that's what's going to do me the most good. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's going to be dead. then I guess I have no reason to keep exploring here other than grinding, but um, we'll do... I'll try to fit it in off camera. I think I'm going to have to, just looking at Ophelia's health, I don't know how I'm going to not grind. I'm going to have to figure that out. Treasure, gimme. Light stone. This is Dr. Pulsar's research institute. He's been working to restore the Stethalos. Uh, is that you? If we don't act quickly, Matreya will send her components away to the other world. I, why would you not do that right away? Because we basically could never get there. You with the resistance? Uh, not exactly. We're the children who were sent back from the destroyed future. Ah, so you really exist. You must be the youngster Cronus told me about. We came to ask you how to get to the floating continent, Doctor. Floating continent, eh? Well, first you'll need these. Jetpacks? Where are they? They're jetpacks. Using these, you should be able to get up to the floating continent. Get up? Uh, then how do we get down? Excellent question. Here. Communicator. A communicator? The remote control device for the Stethalo should be lying around on the floating continent. Contact me when you find it. Then? Then? I'll enable the Stethalos to fly out of the shrine. Once that's done, you should call the Stethalos with the remote control to come back. Are you sure this is safe? Maybe I could develop a better plan if I had more time and resources. Given these circumstances, however, this is the best I can do. All right, all set to take off? No. Normally there's like a spot that you go to on the world map and you use some sort of item. This, I will say the world map travel is getting a little bit clunky. Like look at the path I just had to take. So yeah, everyone who has a weakness, I'm just going to wipe their resistances. I remember Matreya being very magic-y, and I don't remember what kind. Which is unfortunate. So don't remember where that room is. You know where it's not. It's not here. I think this, this is it. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Ah! Uh, I can't even do that. Oh, that stinks. That's so bad. 
fire resistance for sure. So the way I, the reason I think I was able to get rid of it before is that I had made Alice into a beast. And so like when she was no, when she was no longer a beast, it also got rid of all of those extra status immunities and vulnerabilities. Oh, that's not good. I think I'm going to need to drop down there eventually. All right. Can't go any further that way. Oh, I actually can't drop down there. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I change them to something else just so that I can do what I need to do. Oh, I didn't. That should be fine. This should be fine. And I didn't restore all my items, but I, I think it'll be okay. I get confuse immune regenerating fire well I can't become any more finer fire vulnerable than I already am all right cool that's that's not bad if I'm not gonna be able to do anything about this uh, oh. Oh, might as well look around the room now nightmare and fossil dragon oh, okay we fought these before I do like that Alice is basically able to take out an enemy on her own. Ooh, finally some max HP. Seven desperately needed. So I could do this. I could do this. And then when we shift... Who is the the worst? Water resistant frequent combo. So everything about that is No, he already no, he has water resistant. Wind resistant. Earth all she has is earth vulnerable. Wait. Is that saying it's gonna get rid of earth vulnerable? I don't know. I'm I'm not even going to worry about it. Same uh, roughly the same fight. Yeah, you know, just make sure we finish that off. Agility? No. Ooh. Well, at least we're getting a decent amount of money. Oh, come on. I heard it. Alright. Okay, this isn't too bad. Uh, fire, uh, Psycho Sword, and Coral Sword. I should have done it the other way. Oh, uh, strength went up. I'm very thankful for the fact that my, uh, my teammates can get stat ups as well. Well, I, I kind of lucked out on the auto target there. Hmm. 
Nope, still doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll just go with that. What if... Yes, that might be worth it. Oh no, it won't matter. I didn't need to do that. Whatever. It's fine. I was trying to break up the combo, which I did. Ha! But that was overkill. Man, might as well try. KO immune. All right. I legitimately did not even see that monster there. Uh, okay. Turtles are typically weak against the water spells. Let's see. Well, well, now we'll never know. I seem to figure out how to get rid of that fire vulnerability, and then we're like, life is good. Ooh, treasure. Shoot, I have no idea what you guys would be weak to. Let's try Blizzard. I'm going to assume you also aren't going to like getting kicked in the face. Nope. They don't like being kicked in the face. No. Yeah, even with a uh, Quake weakness, that did, that did zero damage. These enemies seem a little bit on the weak side, so maybe there's not much to that, but... Not too bad. Rocket, yeah, something I could not read in time. Sparked. Ooh, another magic source. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that raises my, my magic. Here we go. Where are they? Yeah, raise, raises magic power by three points. So that's, I could, I could raise their magic by six each. Uh, which again, you could kind of think about two, Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. Like, one, that, that six extra points right now is, means a lot. It might not later. So it's hard to argue that it might not be worth it. How much damage? 44? Oh, and it has a chance at instant death. I don't see... I'd rather just go with the, uh, the increased attack power. Although instant death has actually worked pretty well in this game. So yeah, it's kind of hard to decide. Like right now, where, where 6 magic would be... So noticeable. Where, it, you know, again, later in the game it might not be. It might not have that drastic of a difference. But it's also going to be easier to raise magic now than later. Oh no, strength down. How awful.
Or I could, I could do like a crazy boost of 12 and go from 30 to 42 magic. Ooh, okay, only one. We're going to run away from the other one. The goal is we finish this up. Next episode, we go to the floating continent. That's how I'd like this to go. Katana skill up, all right. I swear humans are good with katanas, so. Uh, fire, what can you get? Earth vulnerable or status inflicting. Not worth it. I don't know if I'm reading that right anymore. Eh. I didn't want to fight you. That's alright. That just means I can kind of spend some time looking around this room a little bit better. Fireaga. Kill that. Just finish that thing off. That didn't do it. I wonder if they're missing because of my uh, high agility. Yay, more health for Philia. Seven points. Alright, so 14 health, which compared to what she had is actually kind of significant. Ugh, I, I don't want to fight you. Why is everything so fast all of a sudden? Uh, fire. Eh, Psycho Sword. Triple Lunge. And just... Good old fashioned coral sword. Let's go up. Not even going to bother. Not even going to bother with it. Nope. Nope. Run away. Made it. Okay. Alright, so I th I'm pretty sure we got everything we could out of the ship there. That's where we're going to go ahead and, uh, and call it an episode. In the next one, we will be going to the floating continent. And then from there, uh, things really open up. And maybe open up isn't the right word, but like... The game definitely kicks into high gear after uh, this next section. So, uh, yeah, hope, again, I hope you guys are still enjoying this because I'm having a really good time playing it. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.